Hey, I wanted to make this video real quick for you to show you how to render your final video for NTSC and uh, AVIs. Uh, in America, we use NTSC. It's the standard television, not the widescreen. I haven't found a setting yet, like 16 by 9. I haven't found any of those settings to work in CreateTune, but this is how to do a normal scene. First of all, before you ever start your scene, make sure you set these settings. Come over to Scene, right-click, configure and you're going to want to change the de the default is 768 by 576 that's pal settings for europe change it to 720 by 576 your anti-aliasing you may have to increase this from the default setting if you find out that you have a lot of movement in your characters during your video and they end up getting lines going through them and you'll know what i mean when you see it um, you're going to want to raise the default. If you raise it from the default, let me warn you that it will take forever to render your final uh, animation. The default, I mean, it takes long enough already. So just keep that in mind. All right, click OK. Come over to your camera, right click, configure, and you're going to want to make sure that your aspect ratio is changed to match that of your scene that we already changed. So 720 by 5. 76. Make sure that's selected. Then when you actually render your final animation, click the little film strip icon here to open up this window. Uh, I found that this works, the red, green, blue software render module, uh, output format, AVI. Um, you can select whatever folder you want to send it to when it's done. And your prefix, according to the manual, make sure that this is three characters or less. I don't know why but that's just what the manual said. Um, camera, that's my only option. Frames per second, make sure it matches whatever your settings are. If you went under File, Preferences, you've got settings to change your frames per second. Just make sure that they match. And the one thing you really need to make sure, make sure that your field rendering is checked. And then you can select which frames you actually want to render, which keyframes. So if you didn't want to start with frame one, um, maybe you left a little lag time in here to grab your translational tool and move it around or something. Um, you can choose not to render those. But this is where you would select which frames you actually want to render. And then when you click render, it will pop up another box for you to choose your compressor. Uh, I, I can't remember for sure about the Microsoft video settings or the codecs. But I do know that the full frames uncompressed works. I also know that it takes forever to get it rendered. I think I did about 25 or 28 seconds of rendering. 25 or 28 seconds of cartoon rendered in about two hours. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's it for this tutorial.